Hey everyone! Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a couple of crochet hacks I discovered while designing sun hats. I've completed two official patterns now, the sun hat with eyelets and the big hair bucket hat from last summer. I'll link these tutorials below in the description. These are both great patterns to start with to add a wide brim to. This rainbow hat I'm wearing now is a combination of the big hair bucket hat plus the three hacks I'm about to show you, so stay tuned! I'm going to be adding a sturdy brim onto this hat. It's actually the same exact hat I finished in my latest tutorial, Sun Hat with Eyelets. Now you can add a sturdy brim onto any hat right where you left off, or you can also choose to extend the hat first to make it extra wide. So here's crochet hack number one. To make any crochet hat wider, follow this basic formula. If your hat is in single crochet, increase by six stitches per round. If it's in half double crochet, increase by 9 stitches per round. And if your hat's in double crochet, increase by 12 stitches per round. You can space them out evenly or randomly, whatever is easier for you or makes more sense with your pattern. So for example, I went from this to this by following hack number one, and I just continued the pattern by increasing by 9 stitches per round for nine extra rounds. I turned two of those rounds into crisscross rounds just for funsies and then I added a sturdy brim which is hack number three and we'll get to that shortly. If you are adding on to another hat and you have more of that yarn for that hat then great. If you don't have more, like I don't have any more of this yarn, I'm just gonna pick out something that I think is gonna look good with this. So this is what I found. Just some of my scraps that I have laying around. I think it might give the the brim a nice little color pop. So try to, if you use a different yarn, make sure you use the same weight. Now if you don't know the weight of the yarn, I mean just kind of hold the yarn up, see if it's at least similar. I know that these are the exact same yarn, <laughs> just different colors, so that works for me. Um, I'm using 100% cotton yarn also, so cotton is a very breathable material and that's why I make the sun hats only in cotton. If you use acrylic, it will come out, you know, looking the same, but it's going to be hot. It's going to be sweaty and fuzzy and you're probably not going to want to wear it. So stick to the cotton. Oh yeah, avoid the wool also. It's a breathable material, but it's a hot material. So that's hack number two. Cotton yarn is your best choice for summer hats. And if you guys want to know more about other kinds of fibers and when to use them, check out my video types of yarn. I'll link that below in the description and I go into much more detail about what yarn's made out of and when you should use it. So this doesn't look like it's enough yarn to extend my hat and add the brim. So we're just going to go ahead and add the sturdy brim, which is crochet hack number three. My secret ingredient for the sturdy brim is this. It is poly tubing or irrigation tubing. And you can find it at your local hardware store or any other store that sells gardening material. And you want to get the quarter inch. It comes in, this is like a hundred feet that I got because I'm making a bunch of hats. Um, but you can also get it in rolls of 25 or 50 feet. It's not that cheap. So plan on making a couple hats um, for you and your friends or family. And I'll show you what to do with this. Oh yeah, and you don't, oops, don't forget to get some of these too which are the connectors which are gonna hold our tubing together. So, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see better. Oh. All right guys, so to add the sturdy brim, first lay your hat out like this, flat on your surface. And now grab your poly tubing. You're gonna pull some of this out. And it's gonna be coiled still, so you can just try to just try to stretch it out a little bit and shape it. I'm just trying to get some of those twists out. And now what we want to do, we're going to wrap it around the circumference of our brim here.
You want it to be about an inch wider than the hat. So that's close. Remember this hat's going to stretch a little bit. So that's looking pretty good right there. Now, if you're unsure, always cut, make your cut a little bit bigger than you think because you can always trim, but you can't always add on, right? So I'm going to cut it right here. You also want to account for this little connector. It's going to give us about a half an inch. Now, you may or may not have these same exact connectors, but this one is going to give me a half an inch. So I'm just going to come in about a half an inch to account for that and make my cut right here. Okay. So now I have this piece of polytubing. I'm going to just kind of try to curve this end. You can form this a little bit. It's not going to move too much, but you can shape it to look a little better. Okay, and now we want to connect these two ends. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot just stick these in here. It's really tough on your fingers, so I'm going to show you a little trick um, how to connect these. Okay, guys, all I did, I boiled some water and I poured it in a cup. That's all you really got to do. And take the end of your poly tubing and just let it soak in there for like 20 seconds or so. And it's going to soften up this plastic just enough so that we can squeeze this coupling in and get a closed loop. All right. You see how these are like have angled, angled right here and here? So you want that facing up. Here we go. I'm just going to... It's still pretty tough, honestly, even when you heat it up. You really kind of wiggle it in there okay just like that and now do the other side all right I think that's the best we're gonna do but it is you know pull on it it's really tight it's not going anywhere Okay, so here's my circular piece of polytubing. And we're just going to end up crocheting right over this piece, and you're not even going to notice. And this might not even lay flat, which is fine. It's not going to be perfectly flat, um, but you can kind of, you know, shape it a little bit to your liking. And right where the coupling is, you can also twist it a little bit, and that might either make it more wonky or... Maybe a little bit straighter. So just play around with this piece until you have a shape that you like. If you don't like it, maybe just try it again. I've actually made a bunch of these and, you know, they're not all perfect. So if you don't like it, just try it again. And you probably have at least 25 feet of it. So even if you mess up, <laughs> you should have some extra to use too. Another little bonus hack I just want to add in here real quick. If you do this same thing with a longer cut of half inch or three quarter inch polytubing, you can make a hula hoop. <laughs> That's actually how I thought of this. I used to make custom hoops years ago and just apply this same idea to the crochet. So enjoy that little extra craft hack. And hopefully you don't get sidetracked from your sun hat project by going to make hula hoops now, but... Let's go ahead and add that brim onto our hat. Time to add this poly tubing brim now. I'm using a size 4 millimeter hook because that's what I was using for this hat pattern. So try to stick to the same hook that you were using. If you're unsure what hook was used, well, just try one and see if it works. And if it does, go with it. And if it doesn't, then try a different hook. Trial and error is big part of crocheting and figuring things out is just trying one thing and figuring out if that works and going from there. So grab the yarn you want to use. If, you're all, if your yarn is still attached to your hat, you can just continue 
um, right where you are. Otherwise, I'm going to start with a slip knot. And then we're going to hold the hat and this poly tubing up at the same time with the poly tubing on top. And this yarn, make sure your yarn, if you guys can see this, here we go. Make sure your yarn is going over the top of the tubing. And then we're going to swoop in and go into our first stitch. And we're going to go through the stitch under the tubing. You can either yarn under or over here, it doesn't really matter. Just pull your yarn through, back through that stitch. And then yarn over and pull through those two loops. So we're just doing a single crochet around the perimeter here. And you can do one stitch per stitch, or one single crochet per stitch, or you could do two. So, crochet again, you're going through your stitch, going under the poly tubing, pulling the yarn back through, yarn over, pull through two. So it's just single crochet with this tube in the way. <laughs> That's all we're doing. And now I'm just doing one single crochet per stitch, but that is going to leave some gaps here where you can see the black. So if you don't like that look and you don't want the black showing, just try doing two stitches per stitch or two stitches in each stitch. I'll show you what that looks like here. Okay, so this is what the two single crochet per stitch looks like versus the one single crochet per stitch over here. Obviously this is a little more spacious and these stitches are a little bit tighter. So depending on which look you're going for, you probably don't want this black showing through. So maybe double up with two single crochet per stitch. However, if you're using a bulky yarn or thicker yarn, you might not need two per stitch. You might just need one. So again, depending on your pattern or the yarn weight, um, one or two might look better for you. Or maybe do a combination of like, one and then two and then one every other all the way around so again trial and error you guys just try start with one if it's looking too spacious pull it out and then try two and go from there so i can only give you so much instruction that's going to work with every single hat so part of this is up to you to also find out what you like and what is working for your specific hat so go ahead and now single crochet all the way around your hat. And I'll be honest with you, holding this is really awkward, you guys. Especially when you get towards the end, it's going to get super awkward to hold. That might be the hardest part of doing this whole project. But just stick with it and let me know how it goes. And I will show you my hat when it's all finished. Once you've gone all the way around and you're back where you started, you can finish off by doing a slip stitch into this first stitch. Okay, and then you can cut your yarn. And I always do one more slip stitch just to finish it off. And then on that second one, pull all the way through. And then you can weave in that end. Voila! This is what it looks like. Here's my hat all finished with a new sturdy brim. I hope you all liked my tutorial. Let me know how it goes with your hats and your brims and leave any questions you have below in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you'll catch me next time on Crochet with LJ.